<laughs> that's how I got to start off. I don't have you ever been on Dirty Talk yet? I've been on... <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We weren't as dirty. Now we're like nasty. Dirty. Yeah. He's been on the party <laughs> line. This yeah. is this poop on me. No, David. second nasty show. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I'm David Lee Stanton. This is, he's actually, this is Davio Falavio. He's the host of the fantastic show. And he's joining me here tonight because bitch David Shields isn't here. And then uh, with us is two of our panels because that bitch Pete isn't here either. So uh, we got, uh, uh. we have uh, Tomahawk Dave, who is, okay, there he goes. We only see his jaw. And then we also have Brandon with us as well. Wherever he's at. We will see him. Brandon, is he the one that showed us his penis earlier? Yes, they both. Okay. Uh, I didn't get to see it. You know, if you click on full screen it, hey. instead of dynamic view, you will see all of them, both of them, together like lovers. Uh, <laughs> it's like they're getting yeah. married. So anyways, hey, everybody. They showed us, they showed me, they showed uh, Brian, Chocolate Drop. I think he ran over there to see it. Chris here in the oh, studio. Oh yeah, all I heard was. Ran to see it. So I got to see the tail end of it. Yeah. The tail end of it in my ass. No. I didn't really get to see it. <laughs> Going in. And uh, I saw it coming out. Uh, you oh, now he asked me, he goes, who did I say? Wait, you said I see it going in and out. Oh, I said, I seen your roommate go in, in, <laughs> in yeah. today. He's like, you saw him go in. <laughs> in and out of who? Yeah, I was like. like I'm sitting there watching his roommate go in and out of somebody. Yeah, I was like, I saw your roommate going in today, and in, in on it or something, and I was like, oh, really? We didn't do anything. <laughs> but we obviously, me and my roommate, don't don't have sex. No. Yet. No, never, never. To a drunk night of... Uh-oh. I'm worried about horniness. those drunken nights, because you never know. Yeah, because, you, cause you know, know, sometimes you can get, uh, like, really horny when you're drunk yeah. and not know what you're doing. Exactly. And then, and then sometimes even like, and then somebody sleep and sometimes be like, Ugh. like you'll start thinking things. It's evil. It's All you do is you feel this one little poke and then you're like, oh, let's do it. Yeah. And then you're done. <laughs> poking, poking fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or you always get ugly roommates. Uh, oh, my, my roommate's cute. Have you met him? I have. He's nope. not really uh, my type because he's more of a bottom. Kind of um, he's a top. Uh, I don't have roommates. Well, honey, she acts like a bottle. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. That's the one I met. Yeah. And he was a shot boy at Pride. Yes. And he was he wears that Devil Wears Prada yes. crap stuff. 100% top. Are you serious? I know. How yeah. you know? How Just you like know? Matthew Lush. Like Matthew Lush. More than roommates, maybe? What would you call those kind of people? <laughs> Undetectable? <laughs> like. No, I think that means if you... I, I, I need to, no, yeah, something. no. I think undetectable is if you have it, but you're unde- like the, the uh, virus is undetectable. Like you have the DNA of it, but you don't have the virus. Would you call I it think. sexually like that. undetectable? <laughs> I don't know. That means you just stay at home. <laughs> no, that means you ain't got any, all, any of those apps installed. Yeah. You're sexually undetectable. Yeah. Me, I got every damn app installed. Just it's called asexual. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, I have Growler installed. Growler? And, uh, I've never heard of that. Good, because I, I'm on Growler to stay away from, because I'm, since I'm famous, right? I have to go on the the uh, the different apps, because all everybody that knows me is on freaking Grindr. Like, oh, you're on yeah. Grindr, I bet. No, I'm not on Grindr. No. Because oh, everybody picture... sits here in the studios and grinds away on Grindr and sets up dates and stuff. Do you remember Jared? Our little tech person, Jared. Yeah, yeah, Jared. He was so bad. He would actually, like, not... Like, he would go on Grindr while he was doing shows. I know. Yeah. I yeah. Know. And he, can you imagine what he said to the people? He's like, sorry, I'm doing a show right now. Do you want to have sex later? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he's probably, like, saying, like, what do you like? You know what? So they're, like, they're like you know, oh, I, I, I like uh, glory holes. So then, yeah. so then they're probably, like, they're probably texting back and forth. Oh, really? What do you like about it? Well, I like, you know... Oh, really? Do you take, do you do, you do it raw through glory? I'm like, they're probably having that conversation while he's switching the show. <laughs> I love that it. the show, no. too. <laughs> I have no problem with, hey, get your grinder on, honey. But have yeah, you ever been, I don't think you should let something that you're doing suffer. Have you ever been with someone who was just a glory hole? No. <laughs> I have not. That's not why I brought that up as my favorite thing. Really, it's not. 
<laughs> I'm not trying to give I, a hint out to everyone. I've never done that. Like, do people I've never put, really done it. Do I've never put, really done it. I've only half done it. Like, yeah. during, when you're, whenever you're in a glory hole relationship, are you supposed to put a condom on the person? Well, I don't think glory hole people have relationships. Okay. I mean, they have a relationship for that. However long it lasts. Unless you have a repeat <laughs> visitor. Like, if you were to have a private Mostly glory straight hole, men, so it's only about three seconds. Like, if you were to have a private one, then you have somebody who's like, like a repeat visitor. Yeah. then I guess that would be a glory hole relationship. So would well, you have to have a condom on it? I don't know. It depends on what, you know, your level of protection you want to have. So there, yeah, unless you need his gonorrhea in your mouth. Because some say, or what's that? You can get gonorrhea in your mouth. Right. But if you're going to, uh, if you're going to get suck on a big old, you know, on something that has gonorrhea, wouldn't you probably, wouldn't it look gonorrhea -ish? I don't even know what gonorrhea looks like. Well, it depends on where you are, too. Okay. If you're in the dark, you don't know what the hell's dripping out. smells. Brandon, you got so dark for some reason. Yeah, you're very dark. Can you put a little bit more light on your I Brandon? I almost think he's, like, black. Black, oh, black Brandon. Let's start calling him Black yeah. Brandon. Black from the black waist, from the waist down. down, honey. Or by oh, injection. Like, we'll say you're black, but you have no. a imp impetigo, <laughs> whatever they call it. Lipid lego? Lipid lego. No, what's that, dis what's that disease when your skin turns lighter? Oh, uh, Michael Jackson. Lipid lego. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not leprosy. We, we can just call it Michael Jackson. Yeah. It's, so you're uh, black Brandon with Michael Jackson disease. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. been like you bitches. That works. <laughs> Black Brandon, and well, and then the, and then since he has a big penis, then he's stereotypical. Then he fits into the fetish yeah. size. I didn't see his penis though. So I, oh, I did. It I was, right it. It was up so, and down it was so around your volume that it actually looked like it. Like the soft of it looked like it's hard because like big penises look like they're kind of hard when they're soft. Yeah. Because there's so much there, so that's what that's his. It's like a slinky. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> like this. Uh, Don't show it. Oh yeah. Okay. I was gonna say because we're on Justin right well, that's now. That's a really. So it kind of looked like that, and then, down. and then Tomahawk Dave's was pointing down, but it did have a thicker shaft. Oh. And it didn't end quickly. Do you like the ones? So like that... I didn't even see the end of it. It could be t twenty inches long. Do you like the ones that look like mushrooms? They like go like that, and then they go. <laughs> Well, it depends on where. What do you mean? Like, where's the mushroom? They like at? start really small, like at the like, bottom, and then they get really big at the top. So, like, like can you draw a picture of that, please? Yeah, let's do it. Thank yeah. you. Could, could, there's the shaft. Like the one that's no, so can you draw a picture so they could see? <laughs> so it's like, oh no! When I say draw a picture, honey. I mean draw. Oh, a an actual picture. page. Okay. We're on television. Let's draw a full page for you guys. So how about the ones magic? with the so foreskin with like the that. Head. and it's then it just goes <laughs> like that. Oh wow, that's a huge. You know what? Let me get a little mushroom there. Hey, um, for our Brian. Brian, yes. could you come in here and give me a magic marker, please? I think there's one over there in the director stuff. I've been with a mushroom before. Yeah, there should be. There might be one over there. It feels like a butt plug. Does it? It probably makes like a. I was about to say, did you get an extra life, honey? It does. It goes like. So he must have been like real mushroom headish. He you know, was, I gotta say, one of the few like, Asian I boys I've make ever a sound. Been. I've had him in my phone as Chris Mushroom. Maybe look at that drawer right there. I had a few mushroom heads in my day. I had him in my phone as Chris Mushroom. Did you really? Yeah. You know, I I um. I name people according to their personality traits as well. Oops. Like you're David Cutie Pie. No. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> no, what, what would you do if I said you're a big dick, Dave? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> see what I mean? I know. You're I slap got, dick, Dave. It just got hard all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it got so hard to crack the table. Like. Uh, yeah, it just cracked the table. Okay, so here is what. <laughs> I mean, very typical of a mushroom head. Oh God. We're, we're yeah. We need a police sketch, man. <laughs> That's a mushroom. How about I go down to my um? <laughs> I go down to oh, what? What? Watch. I can draw a real cool one. Watch. Your I background this when I was should be, but young, your background should be a mushroom. Oh, really? Forest. Yeah. But this is how I. This is how. Because my cousin Tommy, he drew it in the driveway, like on the driveway with the big stick. <laughs> is your cousin gay? No, but this is how he drew it. it. So I'm gonna draw you a penis. <laughs> So penis lessons It's kind of more like David. a side view. <laughs> like a hammer dig. 
<laughs> oh, that is a very, very side view. Oh, it looks like a bird more than a... I see the hair. <laughs> That's a side view of a penis, everyone. It's an ostrich. Can you... Oh, you know what? We should try to draw a vagina. I wonder if we could. What's that? <laughs> oh, don't oh, even. Okay. Give me the phone there. This is a gay men's show, not so, a woman. So, uh, we have Jason on the phone. Jason who? Jason McGrilly. Okay. Hello? Oh. In the meantime, I'm going to be drawing a vagina. Okay. In the meantime. <laughs> Make it look like a uh, cave or something. You know? <laughs> or a large, deep hallway. Ooh, that looks like a um, plant. <laughs> that looks like an eggplant. <laughs> Ooh, the C word. That should be for, I should like have so, it in my studio. You're not allowed to say the C word. That looks, is what a vagina looks like to me. That is actually what I think. I've never really. Like I even drew the little clitoris right there. Like, you know, people get that pierced, right? They get like their clitoris pierced. I think so, yeah. And like, let's It's like the Prince her. Albert, it's the Princess Albert. Princess Clitoris. <laughs> it's like, it's called it, Lady Die or something. <laughs> Lady Die. Oh, I want to draw a butt. Oh, look at that. Now. She got a Lady Die. I'm going to draw a butthole now. So this is like if you were like looking at someone's no, butt. You no, should, you should draw a normal butthole and a gay person's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. So this is a gay person's home. butthole. <laughs> okay, so we'll show for the it. Drip donuts, sweetie. Well, we'll compare them. So draw both. So we're gonna draw like, and we'll hold them up and compare them. For your hey, we're educating you. We're educating, and that's the back. Well, not everybody knows what a gay person's butthole looks like. Not everyone. Most that's of you, a gay person's most of you. butthole right there. Oh look, how, look how you look like they have a small waist. Like, hey, at least he's not drawing a gross butt. <laughs> that looks like a butthole with a plug up it. But that's like that's just free form. That's just that's nothing up it, right? Yeah, that's like so. That's, that's a like, gay guy's butthole, and then a that's a gay guy with a black boyfriend's butthole right there. No, <laughs> that is stereotypicalizing or whatever they say. Well, that's fetishizing gay. That's fetishizing black people okay. to think that they have a bigger penis than. than okay, you know what? First of all. I and walked out my apartment true. the Every other day just to go to. Have no big penis. What's that, Brandon? I walked out my apartment the other day just to go to work. I'm stopped by my little black neighbor just down the corner from me. And he's sitting there in his in his robe and these little shorts. And everything's up and he's not wearing a shirt or anything. And I look down and there's this monster of a black dick just looking at me. Oh, and you had to go to work. <laughs> was he trying yeah, to like, send you a message? There, I'm like, I could be fashionably late. <laughs> Ooh. Do you think he was trying to like let you see? I don't think it was on purpose at all. Because that boy is straight unless I can get him some roofies. But <laughs> Honey, dicks don't just flop out accidentally. No, that thing was like a beer can hiding in a pocket. Yeah, um, you do fall in, yeah. <laughs> it's like a bass. Probably smelled like bass too. Like a bass fish? fish? Yeah, best fish. Oh, my goodness. So this is um, so yes, it is a normal person's butt right here. Yeah, that's a straight person. Notice how they have no definition to their body. No definition <laughs> at all. No gym membership. We work out. But they do got the tight hole. We work out. And that's yeah. what we all want now, isn't it? They do have a tight <laughs> hole, but they do have a little bit to of... To have uh, one or to have one. They have a little bit of a uh, turd. We'll be tight after we get done with it. Or is that a hemi? <laughs> Maybe that's a hemi. Uh, from like we said, Hemi. Yeah, from like being a truck driver and you're sitting all day. And you're like, oh yeah, get Hem a hemorrhoid. Get a, yeah, get a vibration I've, Hemi. I've never had a hemorrhoid, but my little brother had one, and my mom had to help him push it back in. Well, it'll come right back out. It doesn't like stay in. If it if it just stayed in, then everybody would just push like, him in and it'd be all over. I was just like, Jake, that's so awkward. Why are you having mom push it back in? Why yeah, the question just... is, why are you having mom push it back in when it's gonna pop right back out? Yeah, and I mean, you could. Is that what you and mom? Do she's your hemorrhoid pusher in her, and you could like push it back in yourself too. Like just lay in front of a mirror yeah. with your unless legs you're liking open. that mom is pushing your hemorrhoids, and then we got a whole different. Show. <laughs> Imagine if her finger slipped and it just went in the hole. How do you know it ain't? <laughs> Might have. How, how do you know she isn't the one that's offering the service? <laughs> that's his prostate. She's like, I just, I just care about you, honey. That's all. You know. That's all. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is love. Nice I, nail love for it. I don't want your butt to hurt. This is love. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me put my gloves on. <laughs> I'm just like making that. sure your temperature is good, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it feels like 64 degrees. <laughs> like Let me heat that up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's heat that sheet up. Oh, my gosh. So, um... You are probably wondering why David Shields <laughs> isn't here. Oh. So I think we should vote. Should we ever let her back or not? I think yeah. so, yes. Why? I love so we're mahogany. Know, where, where is he but right now? But that's why. He be, he's like, you know, that's why. Because I love him. And it's, it hurts. That's why it hurts. <laughs> I drew you a, should have uh, him perform penance. A right. white what? person who just tried it with a... Uh, well, let me ask you. Okay, you got, you all tell tell us you tell us what this is first before we all give our so. Okay, so there's a straight person with with an object right there. What is that object? Panel. Wait. Oh, I can oh, you tell guys you in a minute see. or That's two. Right. Oh, see it. Are you are you guys watching on what Justin TV and Roku? I'm, I'm on Justin. What is the object we just drew? You win a twenty bazillion dollar prize. Bazillion is even a number, so honey, just might give be me a bubble. Oh, really? I think so. Like, I know. Yeah. Do you not dollars. win a twenty bazillion? <laughs> I really? I mean, Google. <laughs> Google is a number. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it. did you all see it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, what about? Third. What about you, Brandon? <laughs> yes. Okay, so Brandon, you say it's what? Oh, he's a straight person. Oh. Oh, no, what do you think that object is oh, wait. on the ground? <laughs> well, does a half-naked guy keep so walking out of his ass, or what? I say it's a condom. <laughs> it looks like old condom. It does, it does kind of look he, like someone had sex. He's like, then, get that out of me. Let's go And raw. then he just like kind of like sh shot it out, like of his butt. Like, yeah, after he pulled it, no. Because he was so tight that when like they withdrew it because he had a mushroom head thing, and then yeah. it pulled out, and the mushroom thing went, and what then it like it that? stayed in there. And then when the guy was done, he just kind of when the guy went into the bathroom, then he like shot it out, so the guy. Does anyone see know it. if there's like a sexual term for like shooting out condoms out of your anus, like just like? So <laughs> somebody do a search for. Let me go to the urgent dictionary. Yeah. Urgent dictionary. I've seen He's people really use good at Remy Dong. Okay. What, what could it be called? Anal so, condom Remy Dong's up people's shooting. Fuck them. Anal secretion. Ooh, no, that's Santorum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you know that um, there is a well? There's some red flags to dating, and I don't know what this what this word means. Um, but I wrote down all the red flags of dating, and it said their profile is excessively verbose. What does verbose even mean? I think that means uh, like uh, their profile is like um. Can somebody, I don't know. I, I would think that it means like that it means that it's very descriptive. Hang on, I got a dictionary. So what does the word verbose mean? Because verbose Let means me get the like glasses to on. In the, or to verbalize something and boast oh, verbose about, is so. to embellish a verbal concept. Oh, that's right. So Bro, that's he, he's a liar. Break it, down uh, words, you're honey. Good. break it down. Break it down. You're good. <laughs> but that's yeah. how you, yeah, you just break words. That's usually how you Mary do it. Let's glory see what Miriam <laughs> says. <laughs> Let's break down glory hall. Glory, you're happy. Glory, you're happy. A a hole. So it's basically oh. happy hole. Meet you at the hole. So I mean, you can call your <laughs> anus a glory hole. Some people do. Like if you ever, not that I have, but if you ever try to do like. So for both means containing more some words Some people will think it's their butthole. And they'll be like, yeah, I love really? being fucked at the uh -huh. glory hole. Dude in my glory oh, hole. Oh my. I got a private glory I got my own glory hole. Everybody's got a private glory hole. And if you look at some that. Some people. And then some girls are probably calling their JJ's glory Ooh, holes. Now, Glory hole porn is okay, whatever, but have you ever seen female porn? That's so nasty. Oh, female anus? No, female anything. Hey, yeah. I like you all females. Matter of fact, oh, let me tell you about some developments, speaking of females. Okay. It's a happy hole. Oh, Robert Christian said it's a happy hole. How do you know that? How do you know what Robert's saying? Happy hole. Oh, okay. Hey, Robert, is Robert, Robert you can call in. And be with us at the hole. Meet you at the there, hole, Robert. So. <laughs> Robert looks like somebody be at a glory hole. <laughs> 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 
It was all I. him. It was all him. I'd be on one end, you'd be on one end. <laughs> I really want a cheeseburger right now. I don't know why. Because because I want to drink that uh, tea. Cheeseburger oh, it's, tea. it's raspberry vodka tea. And spiked with what? No, it's really not. Is, is it vodka? Is it vodka? Uh, is I have a little, little tea. I, I hope you get uh, liver exams. Uh, hang on. <laughs> It's actually a um this not alcoholic at all? It is. Oh my god. Girl, what is that? Why, <laughs> why is it so salty? Uh, oh, I was rubbing my armpit. That is disgusting. What like, is that? <laughs> it tastes like fucking moonshine or so, or <laughs> No, it tastes like that it, black dog it's, um, wine. Or... It's actually just a Chianti. Oh, it's oh, it tastes, it tastes like salt. Do you put salt in it or something? <laughs> I know, but I bought the driest I could find. Welcome. Does it taste salty to you, or is it just me? I, or is it that? I think it does. Or is it for it, my visit it, at the G Red head? wine, whenever it's dry, is pretty salty. I would agree. Oh. Yeah. Just like, maybe it the strain. Girl, I couldn't even sip that shit. Okay, oh, so I'm lost. What are we talking about now? I'm having it so slowly. And out of a teacup. Hmm. Although tea I love hot. wine, man. Hmm. Like We're talking about tea. You're having a martini. Oh. I'm a tea expert, actually. <laughs> Are you like like Ooh. like a tea leaves? <laughs> yes. Like, yes. Like I know a great the drinking deal of it. tea or the telling of tea fortunes. I would like the ball. What do you want? Yeah. Oh, it's both. Oh, really? Well, what's a good? Can you recommend a good tea? Lipton, like green or black or white. What do you want? Decaffeinated. Oh, that's not tea. <laughs> I don't know, is tea any good if That's it's like not flavored tea? water, basically. Does tea come, it grows decaffeinated, right? Like no, tea is actually, it comes from the Camellia sinensis plant, which actually contains a little bit of caffeine, which is a natural form of uh, insecticide. And kind of like coffee, you can get the uh, caffeine out, but not all the way. Uh, so, and mostly if people go for a caffeine-free tea, it's usually herbal. Uh, what kind do you drink? I usually drink a green tea called Sencha or Jasmine Green. Sencha. Uh, smells like uh, dick. Like it smells. <laughs> it smells like dick tea. Smelly Sencha tea. No, it's, thin, it's st uh, no, it's what's that stuff you get on stigmata or whatever that you get on your penis? Oh yeah. Stigma. Schmagma. Schmagma tea. Oh my god. <laughs> like, Schmagma tea, honey. I didn't want to tell anyone this. But my brother's ex, she she's a schmagma provider. No. She found out she has bacterial vaginosis. That is schmagma for girls, honey. Vaginosis. That's the bread disease. That could be schmagma. <laughs> I didn't Vaginal even, schmagma. I didn't even know that was a word, vaginosis. Oh, oh my, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I don't have a microwave in my new apartment. So how am I ever going to cook? my soup upstairs i have I'm a microwave stove. Down there, but you can always buy a microwave so I don't you don't have, have a stove a pot. i don't even you have, even a, have pot. a pot to piss in <laughs> i don't have a pot hopefully you won't have to go pee i just realized i have no pot remind me not to rent an apartment in pittsburgh like marijuana pot <laughs> yeah like a pot to cook soup in i don't have a well, pot so, so when i was in that scenario a long time ago. I just went over to an Asian market and bought a little butane burner, uh -huh. like pretty bucks. And then I just freaking went over to a thrift shop and got some pots and pans. And well, what I, I would do, if it's like a money issue, so you have pots, I would go to the Goodwill and like buy a pot for a dollar. You just got to know what you're probably get a for. pot and a utensil to stir some for a dollar, honestly. That's and it'd probably be like a really right good up. pan, too. And then once you get money, buy yourself a set of pans. Yeah. And you have a pot to piss in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what I was telling you guys. Is that, what is that? Scrambled eggs with bacon. Oh my God, you're making me hungry. Mountain House. How does that stuff taste? I don't have a taste of them yet. The, the, um, I've had the dinners. They're pretty okay. Someone's naked. I would love to be out I'm in the woods. naked. <laughs> Tomahawk Dave and like living off that kind of food and. Making love in the sun. 
<laughs> no, oh, I'm yeah. serious. I would totally be into it with him, honey. I'd be like, we ain't got to see nobody. You and I just live up here. Right in the trees. <laughs> yeah, somebody calling even... in there. We have another caller. Yeah, it should be Robert young. Christian. All right, okay. Robert Christian. Although he's, hey. um, although hey. he's a sinner, I'm sure. <laughs> Because he likes the G holes. <laughs> Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. How are you Hi. doing? Good. How are you? I am I fantastic. Am. You're looking oh, snazzy. Oh my snazzy. God! Am I that damn ugly? Shit. So, um, what are you? Um, where are, did you do a show today, Robert? Did, uh, did I do a what? Did you do a show today? Ah, <sighs> God no. Did one yesterday though. Oh. Yeah. So everybody, I would like to welcome Robert. The newest addition to the Gay Life Television family, Robert Christian, who also does a show, but you know he actually rebroadcasts our. He kind of has like a, a broadcast thing going on, but he rebroadcasts. Yeah, he does it on a live stream. Yeah, but but he does his own show. It's more like a like a news type of uh, adult ish show. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't get like us. I don't think. Do you even swear hey, on your I show? Can. Like he does, like it's like he's just like a Christian show, I think. Oh come on, <laughs> Christian, my ass! I think it's about God or something. Jesus. I'm like, um, hello, like you. I think it's about his religion. <laughs> no, hey Robert, You're tell us what your show's cleaner. about. Do what? Tell us what you your show is about. Yesterday. Tell us what your show is about and how we can even watch it. Hey, it is. Um, you name it, um, it's about it. Just about it, right? Um, we. Recently, we actually we switched gears from from uh, focusing a lot on the Occupy Wall Street protests and all that's going on, to uh, to LGBT Sorry. events um, and news headlines and all this that, that make the news. Um, so we try to make sense of it all, including Russia. Oh, serious adult shit. <laughs> uh, I mean, seriousness. We're all adults. Yeah, in Russia. Anything I do is adult because I'm an adult. Um, I would love Russia to do something right now, totally adult like, um, but I'd have to get like a, a huge um, sponsor for dildos or something. I don't know. Oh, uh, oh who knows how you mentioned dildos? Because, <laughs> you know, you only mention stuff you like. Nasty puppy. Um, nasty pig. Right. No, no, hey, I have not a clue what that is. It's a clothing you know, jock strap. You're welcome oh. to start joining us, you know, on our Dirty Talk show. We always have room for Dirty Talk. Yeah, give, give Google something to talk about. <laughs> yeah, so, hey, Chris, so let's get to know Chris a little bit, or uh, Christian, although his name is Robert. I call him Christian because he's Christian. <laughs> Look at him. Hey, that's just my last name. Come on. <laughs> um, okay, then he's, I don't know, atheist, or what's that thing? Illuminati. You know, I don't even think Illuminati is, is uh, I don't think that's Satan worship. No. So that's Madonna's. Is it really Bible not? There. No, I don't think it is. Is it, guys? <laughs> well, no. Illuminati. It's a made-up cult. Right, but it's not. Have, it doesn't have anything to do with Satan. Right? It doesn't actually exist. Celebrities think they're cool, and they're like, "Oh my God, I'm part of the Illuminati." It's, you know what? I, I hate that stuff when they just get it over yourself. See, like, let's make up a new one. You know, if you're a rapper, you're not part of every single thing. That's like whatever. We're part of the Jesus. You're a rapper. Naughty. You can't rap or how how, how how much skill does it take to rap? Seriously, it takes. I mean, nine. it takes it takes like, being able to speak quickly and in a flow beat. like manner. Here, I'll come up with a beat right now and I'll have you rap. Okay. What you like to rap? I can't even. I don't even. I don't. Even, I don't even know how to rap. I, I do cracker rap. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> I love it. It's okay, great. This show's uh, going downhill. A, rap, a white. <laughs> He's jumped the shark, honey. Hey, it was not because of me, I don't think. No, it's not because of you. That's a good name for being Cracker Rap. Cracker Rap. Oh, I like that. But you spell with a W, like Cracker Rap. Like to rap a cracker. If you're like a classy white person, would they call it like... Classy Cracker Rap. Like, um... I thought that's what it was when you put a condom on your boyfriend or something. I like that. I'm a biscuit rapper. <laughs> can you rap? Rap a cracker. I can, yeah. Can you? Yeah, yeah. I would make a beat, but I don't even know how to do that. Not good, not good. Okay. I'll just, I'll make one with my knee. With your knee? Do you got a bad knee or something? <laughs> you can make a click to the beat. Yo, I was walking down the street. Blah, blah, blah. I know, I really, yeah. I, I'd yeah. have to, no, honey, you I'd can't have to rap. write the lyrics. Uh, I, mean, I, I admit that rapping does take a skill. 
We but, have Alex McCrumb Snatcher, MC. But I don't Crumb think it's Snatcher. a skill that you can't learn quickly. All you have to do is talk fast and and, like, yeah, and uh, practice at it. Not that you know Tommy you'd be rapping. Oh yeah. Okay, now we gotta figure out Robert's nickname. Whose nickname? Oh yes. Robert that, oh, 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 you mean we gotta give Robert a, a nickname. Okay. Hey, do I get a, a nickname? Do I have to have one? Must I? Yes, honey, you can't even be on the show unless you do. Just don't call me the Pope. We got Big Dick no. Black Brian or Br Brandon. <laughs> I can't Black even see Brandon it. with the stick because remember he has that skit. He has Michael Jackson's. Z. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't privy to uh, to that conversation. <clears throat> uh -huh. And then uh, I'm like, uh huh. And then Tomahawk Dave is uh, well, that's my husband, so we don't call him nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> now Tomahawk Dave, we call him Tomahawk Dave. I like that name, or we, Tomahawk Dave. Yeah, I like so yeah. I. We'll tell you the story. I'll tell you the story one of these days. <laughs> so the Christian, Brian, I, I like calling him Christian, but um, okay, well, we got to figure out what he likes. He likes so Robert Christian. He likes glory holes and dildos. <laughs> so I would call him Glory. You what Robert? would you do if you were at a glory hole and somebody put a dildo through mm -hmm. it instead? A dildo? Like, like a really realistic one. I would Glory probably ride Robert. it raw. Oh, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna feed into that. <laughs> what was that? You would feed into it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God. You would eat it up. Oh, Take he'd be like, oh my God, that'd be so delicious. Take some in thy oh. mouth. <laughs> okay, so I would be like, I would be, I would probably be surprised. Now, what if? Okay, they had a glory hole and then they put a, is they call the fleshlights? If yeah. they put a flashlight on the end of it, and you thought that you were getting like this really good, um, oh, yeah. head. no, no, they were like, listen, I'm gonna take it raw, right? And you're like, oh, okay. And then, and then they they put a flashlight on you, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so great. And then you just then you figure out it's a flashlight. What would you do? Oh my god, I'll probably be thankful that it ended up being safe. That we were I doing thought something of, I just safer. thought of a great show. Like they should do that and put the flashlight on the people and then yeah. be like, welcome to the wonderful world of AIDS, like right after they get it. And then be like, just kidding. Yes. Oh my god. No, no, no. yes. yes. And then right, see what they straight. like see their like mental like the breakdowns. Like teaching to have uh, safe sex. It would yeah. like shock them into And then they'll have sex. like a mental breakdown. Yeah. And then we'll be like, just kidding. Yeah. It was a flashlight that five other people put That's their a good idea, believe it or not. <laughs> Always thinking. Get a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> oh, don't even go into peanut butter. No, if I was a if I was a uh, uh, a transvestite or something, right? Not a dry queen, but a transvestite. Because those flashlights come out of the container. So then, and then they're like this big floppy thing. So I would put, I would, I would, I would take that out of the container and put it between my legs. And then if I was going to do it to me, uh. I would just go like that so he couldn't see. And then I'd just be putting in the flashlight and he'd be like, oh my gosh, you got the best oh. the JJ I've ever imagined. Or if you're a girl that's really loose, you can just stuff it in there. Oh, that's true too. That's you can just stick idea. it in and just have like, oh my. That's a really good yes. idea. We're like selling products going back for to the women. future. So flashlight, if you'd like to advertise on this show, you call me. <laughs> we will David tighten at, your JJ up. David at gaylifetelevision.com. Uh, honey, I'm bound. I want to get a sex ad on this show. Although we might be working with Nuva condoms. Or, or even if try you Adam and anus, you could like well, stuff that, up the thing in your that anus. That's and true. And like, bend over in the dark, obviously. And you bitches got some loose oh, no. anuses. That makes me crazy. No rimming. No, dude, on those apps, if you ever talk to anybody who's on there, everybody Mr. likes to have like. It's it protrudes. It's like it, they just love to have big giant objects like climbing up in there and stuff. They're like can't yeah. stretch, can't <laughs> stretch big enough. Like I know, I know there's fisting now, and then yeah. they came up with footing. Oh my god! And now I'm, I invented footing last week on the show. Is there is there heading now? Heading? Yes, actually there was because I did see on a horrible website once where this bald guy stuck his head in this woman's snooch, and it. Ew. Oh my goodness! I can't yeah, imagine. Yeah, must hear the ocean day. when you walk by her legs because that thing was fucking open and wide. <laughs> but I wonder if like if you did put I mean that could really hurt your head especially if you put it into because you know they say the head's just the strength of a um, watermelon so if you put uh, your head up into somebody's butthole and they clench real tight 
you know, you could probably crack a wall, uh, crack a uh, watermelon if it was stuck up your butt. <laughs> so, <laughs> you probably could, yeah. <laughs> you probably could. Is it really that? that Especially weird? if you're panicking. I'm like pressing it. You know, now. say you hit, say your now. head was up there and you accidentally hit something, and they panic and they go, oh, and then they actually, and then they, they explode your head inside of them. Oh my Let's get a hold of John and Waters. Then, oh my, and then imagine that coming out of you, honey. <laughs> and then, like, you're, you're, you're basically there, call shitting in. out someone's head. You're shitting. First, they, they die, right? So you have to pull their head out of you. And it's their like, brain. And, and, yeah, and, their, and it, it comes out like a wet noodle. So you can actually call. And their brains would be stuck up in you. You know, you call someone like that shit for brains. Yes. Shit, shit oh my brains. God. They would become shit for That's brains. That's what we need for the channel, second channel. Less, I cannot even believe we said they're the the most grossest thing that can ever possibly happen. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome and welcome to Dirty Talk. And we I'm will gonna be, put my foot in someone's butt now. On that note, we'll be right back after this uh, message. Are we clear? Uh, no, yeah. And uh, welcome back, <laughs> campers. Uh, I was putting it in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm playing with my ad. We edit. Terrible. We edit that down. Hopefully, I could, when I go to edit, I can find where the commercial breaks. <laughs> I gotta talk to Chain by Chuck. See if he'll put an ad on here. <laughs> oh. Um. Hey, if you're watching over there at, at Wolf's Den Bar, thank you. I miss Peter. Give him back to me, please. Yeah, they've got a new lunch. They got a new menu now. Uh, oh really? They just What's on that a menu? menu tonight. Like what um, kind of menu? Is yeah. it like finger food? Um, tacos. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, I like pretty, tacos. It's pretty good. Me too, tacos. Pretty big servings too. Oh, you're, you're making oh big servings. You're making Davy a hungry because he wants a cheeseburger. I know, and I have no pots or pans. Apparently, wine makes him hungry. <laughs> yeah, and they got a disco party coming up on Friday the ninth and Bear Night on the tenth. Mm, bear Night. Ooh, I'm gonna start and drawing. They, they got a blue out party on the seventeenth and Leather Night on the thirty-first. What um? Do you go to uh. Bear Night? My God, is that hot? Uh, it. Yes. <laughs> hey, uh, Robert Christian, because we're still trying to figure out your name. You're not off the hook yet, honey. What um, <laughs> what do you go out to the bars? Uh, no, actually, is unfortunately, it, no. Unfortunately. Call me married old goat. I don't care. Is it because you're married to a man? <laughs> uh, part of it, maybe. Uh, where's your husband at right now? Um, he's actually in the living room. <laughs> is he naked? No. <laughs> no, no, he's not. So, um, who's the top and who's the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> I love asking these questions. Well, I guess... I, point. <laughs> uh, go ahead, who? Uh, I, I, I guess I must be the, uh, uh, the, the uh, let's see. What's yeah, the, the pitcher. The what? The pitcher. Oh, oh the I see. I, ca I gathered him as a catcher. Oh, thanks a lot. Pitcher. Oh, you know what we should. Honey, call I like him? you more now. I love. Pitchers. We should call him Glory Corey. Glory Corey. Yeah, I like that because he likes glory holes, and Corey oh. is like a a boy's name. Yeah, but he's a pitcher now, so now we got to factor that in. So Glory Corey, the pitcher. The pitcher. I like that. Hey, at least I'm not a fag hag. Although we do need a, fa a resident fag hag on our show. So we need to figure out something with picture in it. Anyways, while we're thinking about that, let me tell you a little bit about some stuff that's going on here at Daylight Television. So, okay. <laughs> um, we signed up with Gay News International, or yeah, and uh, they're going to be supplying us with news because they're actually we'll be making a news show for them. That we're getting paid for, right? Okay. <laughs> so we're like, so we're going to create this beautiful news show for them. And we, I, in the past few days, I've been doing inter interviews with newscasters. And honey, you all know me, right? I'm the most competitive bitch that there is. And I'm the type of person that if you compete with me, I will like, or even if you don't compete with me, whatever I do, I'm going to be like the best that there is at doing it, right? Woo! Or the best I can, at the best I can make it. I always try my best. Anyway, so. For my newscast, I'm gonna have extremely gorgeous looking people, right, to do the newscast. So I know you're thinking, oh, Davio. Well, no, he's actually for something else. But I got a newscaster. His name is Sam. 
He's just so, he was, he, the man, I even told him, so it isn't a secret. This man is so gorgeous that when I was interviewing him, I actually forgot to take his information, like his phone number and stuff. But I, I was, I was like, I was stuttering and stuff when I was talking to him. Really? Could you ever meet somebody that's just so Sam confused? what? What's his name? I forget even, it's Sam Bossia or something like that. Bossia? Yeah. But just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful person. Oh my God. So anyways, he's going to do our news for us. So then uh, we have to, we're going to have a female as well. So it's going to be a male and a female. But you all know me. i got to have the female equally as gorgeous. So Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was cute. Uh, oh, Debbie. You know Debbie. So, well, she's going to do she our news. She was in my thing. music video. Oh, that's, oh, that's so great. She's that girl. Yeah, this girl. Is, she's you got a body. the girl in yeah. my music video. Totally, yeah. yeah. She's got a great body and stuff. Yeah. And she has black hair. It's hot. Yeah, I know who I she is. I love her. Well, she so this girl is as beautiful as a beautiful man. So you're all gonna you're all gonna watch the newscast just to watch them, <laughs> if anything. Oh hell yeah! So in addition to these newscasting or this news company, because they're really actually like a company. They are, they're also a movie production house. So uh, they're sending they're going to be filming a movie here, parts of it. But um, they wanted me to do their casting for it. So I oh Debbie's part of that. Uh, no, not yet. Well, oh. I'm, I'm looking for, excuse me, three guys, and she's not a guy. <laughs> so, um, I did a high school play. <laughs> but, I, but I've worked out deals and everything like that because I want to use, because one of the things that I like to do for my people that work at Gay Life Television is I try to take care of them and give them opportunities as they come. Um, so I've worked out a deal instead of him getting actors at other places. So I worked out a deal because like, I wanted to use my people. So he actually likes my gorgeous men. So so they're going to cast my people in their movies. And then they're going to film it here. And they're going to use my studio as their home base. And uh, But they're sending like a movie crew out here to do all this stuff. It's crazy, huh? Speaking of, we should do a screen test right now. Like we could act Testing. like we're in a scene. Honey, I'm a red star. I don't need, need, need no tests. We could act be like we're in a scene. Be. Okay, let's like, do it. Like, how could we? How could we act like that? Like, what um, we? What will we pretend? I'll pretend. Act. I'll pretend act. like I'm your doctor. Okay. And I'm telling you that you have um, crabs. Okay. <laughs> so then, and then I have to be like, um, I come to you. Well, we usually do it. Yeah. Be so do I? Um, yeah. Do I let's have do to explain horrible. to you what the problem is? And then you die. No, or say, do you already know what it I is? I already know because you came to me okay. previously. So like I'm like it's sitting here waiting fight. for you to come into the uh, okay to the uh, to the uh, to the room I'm in, and you have to tell me. So I'm actually looking kind of depressed, wondering why I got these red spots on me. Hi, Mr. Stanton. We can take you back into the back room right now. Oh, okay. Take off all your clothes. Okay, thank you. Hi. How are you doing today? Well, um, I've had better days. Yeah, but uh, feeling kind of itchy. I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you know, I, I think it's, I think it's my soap. If is, I, I'm, we I, have I'm suspecting it's because you know I just got some new uh, like body soap yeah. stuff. And... We just realized what your problem is, oh, and that's great. we might have some better soap to fix that, including oh. a, including a comb that oh, might really you know, squeeze out some of the little right. insects. What? The insects. Is that the name of the soap? Really? No. Is no. That, well, what do you We mean? actually found out Is that, that the, have, Oh, that's the comb. Yeah. I've yeah. never heard of a comb. We were doing your test today, and we realized that you have uh, a few um, wild animals down in your private area. I'm not sure if I understand what you're talking about. <laughs> what do I have? <laughs> it's not funny, doctor. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. You, we actually found out that you have crabs. So, I didn't eat any crabs. They, they should come out like, and I could. Was it because them. I ate crabs? I would. I only go to that restaurant oven. every now and then. Yeah, I think I think it is because you ate crabs because we actually found species of a uh, wildlife that's only found in the ocean. So. Oh yeah. well, well that's. I guess. Well, what do I do now? Well, I can shave it for you, oh. and with my mouth. Or I can um, do a few other things. But. Well, let's let's try this. It's like a porno scene. <laughs> no, like let's try the shaving first and see how that okay. goes. Okay, I'll just get the the, the razor in my mouth. <laughs> and like like yeah, you just, like you shave me. <laughs> and thank you. That was your screen. Thank you. Who gets the part? 
<laughs> I think you do. <laughs> Probably you, because you're the doctor. Oh, I'm the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so that's what's happening here at Gay Life Television. Plenty of fun, exciting stuff. Well, he'd be a good doctor. Who would? He would. Give him a good doctor's robe or something. Oh, thank you. Stethoscope. Ooh. Ooh, see, I bet you, oh, I, you know, Ro okay, so we're putting a profile together for Robert. So we, oh, what God. we've got on Robert so far <laughs> is that Robert likes doctor. He likes little doctor scenarios. <laughs> doctor Glory Hole. Oh, okay, so he likes. That's great. Glory Holes. We got Glory Holes, Dildos, and um, Doctor Scenarios. Doctor. Doctor Christian. Cross. Oh, oh, so, so, okay, so we're going to call him Doctor he something. Does that he doctor Christian. Show, so it yeah, he does that really Doctor Christian. Jesus Glory Hole. <laughs> Dr. G. Well, Dr. Dr. G. Okay, I like that. Okay, that's it. Dr. G. I like that. Dr. G. We figured it out. Doctor. You, you guys G. are going to fall for that line of stuff? <laughs> So when you're um so when you're uh, on the show next time it'll be we got Big Dick Br Brandon Black Brandon now that's like his new curves at the end and then we got Tomahawk Dave and Doctor G and then whenever people ask like oh what does G stand for well, so Dr. you know you have to go back all the way to episode whatever <laughs> this is to find out it's mm -hmm. a it's a secret that only <laughs> fans. Uh, the Dirty Talk Show knows. So that's why it pays to watch the Dirty Talk back Show. To the to figure out how I got paid. What? <laughs> I gotta go back to the third. <laughs> to figure out what, how I got money. Who's talking? I don't know. It looks like he was doing, uh, uh, so no, the signs for like a a band, a band, oh, a group, one of those. Three. Who does gangs? Deaf people. No, a gang. He's he's doing gang signs because you know how they try to hurry up and like if you get a camera on, they try to hurry up and slip it in the camera. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. So that's why he was trying to do. One. We got a close up on. Him. He was like trying to do his gang sign. Hey, you know what I really so need to do? What would be funny? Think. Hey, Dave. Maybe, uh, maybe we should. Almost be with Pinky you know, Cousin. I just realized gay is in the word gang. Gay. Keep talking. Gay. <laughs> um, hey, uh, uh, David, I think that what would really gang. be cool, you know, to like kind of set things off is to get microphones that are shaped in the, in the shape of dicks. Oh, see? <laughs> Honey's got a little dick dildo fetish thing. Uh -huh. Now she's like, a microphone is in the shape of a dick. It is kind of. It is really like. I Especially mean, this, these particular you favorites. Can a, you can put a condom on this, and it with would be the mushroom head. Like okay. Mushroom. Ooh, you know what my uh, my <laughs> nephew did today, right? I go up to his house, and he goes. He shows me his dog. He has this big dog, and then he's like, his dog had this big heart on. And then he goes, he lifts his dog up, and then and then you know that thing is called the nodding whatever that thing that like nods with the female dog or whatever like oh like, yeah so he's like what is that because oh, he saw the animal's testicles but then above that he saw that nodding thing because i make the dog hard when i go around him funny I don't know why. <laughs> but uh so then he thought that something was wrong with the dog but it was i obviously showed him <laughs> i showed him how to do, do the dog no i should have that's so gross Dave would be saying stuff like that, but I sh I let him know that that's just kind of normal and that he needs to get his dog fixed. I love that you said you make the dog hard. I do make the dog hard when I go there. Really? Yeah, I do. Maybe it just like is, wants to do you. It does want to do me. Yeah. Well, when I was little, this is embarrassing to say, but I would actually get naked. Uh -huh. and I would crawl on all fours because my dog liked to hump things. And I, I was like seven. I was like seven years old. And my dog liked to hump things. So I would crawl on the ground next to it naked. And waiting, waiting, for, it, waiting for it to hump me, but it never humped me. Thank you. But I could take him out to dinner first. That would have been a whole different like, <laughs> perspective. I mean, I didn't, on even, I didn't even put a condom on it. Or oh my God. I don't even know if you could. <laughs> I suppose you could, but that's just because they just go, they go really fast. They do go really fast. Well, if but two dogs can seven, stick together, so can a human and a dog stick together? Even though it's a poodle. Stay tuned and know find know out. It was a poodle. <laughs> <laughs> it was a poodle. It was a laugh. Let's say show ask it's on it's on it's on it's on. So what are they saying back <laughs> there in part of the film? 
See, that's that's called the back room show. Right there. <laughs> Seriously, it is. I'm they just going to be getting on 4chan here all of a sudden. <laughs> they have their own show, and we have ours. So, Can I tell about the uh, wolf video I saw today? <laughs> oh, you know, sadly, guess who won't? You all know Vita, right? Vita Opulence. You all know who Vita Opulence is from Craving Imagination? Yeah. 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 Oh, nothing happened to her. Look, they all got this serious face like, ooh, she in a car accident or something? She's fine. You got a good, better job? Uh, but anyway, she's not going to be doing shows with us anymore. Oh, no. Why? I, I told her I didn't want to do that show anymore. <laughs> because it wasn't up to my... I, it was okay. You know, I don't... Because I, actually, I, it, was, it was really far for her to come here. Oh, oh darling. Really? Yeah, it was actually my decision. Was it like an hour? Um, I mean, it was, yeah, no, I, I didn't feel right her coming all the way up here. And it was, it's kind of a struggle. And then also in the winter, it's even going to be tougher. You know, and I don't think, and she's, you know, it's hard for her to find guests and stuff like that. So I actually felt that it was too much work for such a nice lady. Oh. So I, I thought it would be in her best it's interest. Very masculine drag queen. She is. Like yes. more masculine than I am. Yeah. I just thought it would be in her best interest to actually not do the show. Like, you know, like I think it was just kind of, you know, hurting him financially to do it. Oh, okay. So I, so I changed. So I'm going to get a different host for it. Okay. But it wasn't to have them do anything. Where he's a fabulous host. No, he's a, no, he's a, he's a great host and nice person. Maybe I should just dress up and drag and do the show. For so, like a few weeks while you're trying to look for someone. Uh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> like, actually, hi, actually, I, I, I already have somebody lined up. I'm thinking about Lakasha Lafalls or Laka What's her name? Akasha Lestat. Yeah, Akasha Lestat. Oh, um, hey Dave, are we by yeah, chance well, back from commercial break? You broke tomorrow, in. Akasha. You know, hey, we're at commercial, but you didn't say, hey, welcome back. No, that's the editing. But she's she's a real. For the me, I didn't say welcome back. She's a real bitch, though. <laughs> Is she a real bitch? So don't like tell her that you're gonna give her any money because she's. A bitch. Oh, you know you're on air. I was her roommate. You know you're on air to... Oh, yeah, she'll never see this. We'll four never. to five million a month, right? We'll, ne we'll okay. never tell her. The number we one don't need to. Other people will tell. All I have to do is fart on air. And my gosh, no, they, no, they no. call the party. Oh, gosh, they call no. fart companies. I, I love her. I, I really company. do love her, but she demands cash. She I don't does. even know her. She demands, like... She'll shit, demand man. like a thousand dollars a show, and you'll be like, "Hell no, girl!" I don't even pay my newscasters a thousand dollars a show. <laughs> if I'm gonna pay somebody a thousand dollars a show, it's gonna be Davio Flavio. Oh, uh, that's, that's that bitch is the first one we'd be paying for that. <laughs> well, you know, we're gonna see because you know me, I'm the biggest bitch here. <laughs> so, like, nobody could be a bigger bitch than me, or else it ain't gonna work. Like a bat. Because you know me, I, I cancel a show in a minute, honey. Oh, if yeah. I, if I don't like it, here's how I judge my shows. If I don't like it, I just get rid of it. Okay. And if I don't like it, most likely nobody else likes it either. <laughs> true, true. I mean, that's what people don't sometimes like face their own stuff. Yeah. You know, like face your own failure, so to speak. Actually, if a, if a show is boring, it's kind of my fault because I didn't either do something to make it more exciting. I didn't step in when I should have. I didn't cancel it soon enough. You know what I mean? So. That's why I'm like, you know, all my shows I'm revamping and the ones that are doing good, I'm just leaving them go as they are. Yours is fine, honey. Oh, <laughs> But you know, like some of them I'm just working on to get them perfected. That's just the way it goes in TV land. Next week I have on um, these girls that, that run this Facebook page called Pretty Living. Uh huh. So I'm excited for that. I'll have Me to too. message Are them. you allowed to talk about your other thing? You know, this thing? Already did. Oh, um, I think I think so. Oh well, um, do tell because it's a different show, so they don't know. Well, I've I've just been contacted by MTV, and <laughs> and they want to have me on their next show. And what show is that? It's uh, it well, it's for the um, what's it called? The it's get it gets better campaign. Oh, so they want me. Because I emailed them, I said, like, the problems I've had when I was younger. And they said, we would like to move you on with the casting. And I was like, okay, sounds good. So um, later on, I'm going to be sending them a video. So He's going places, honey. 
Oh yeah. No, but Davy is going to be a, a, a star in his life. <laughs> so we are actually seeing a star as a person becomes a star. We're actually witnessing that with Davy Ophelabio. Oh, you're so sweet. As we see him grow, we are witnessing a star. And I mean, when you're uh, stars, ask any star. You don't be like, boom, you're a star the next day. That doesn't, people think that that's what happens. That's not what happens. You have to work a lot to become a star. You got to do stuff like this. You got to, yeah. you got to, you got to do, 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 but you do. And then one day, you know, you just hit that right movie. You just, you just get that right part, but it's a matter of, putting in a lot of work be yeah. to become a star. You I just mean, don't become one. They sure. have to see like what you do exactly. before you actually exactly. like do it. Christine Aguilera. Let's use her for an example. Everybody's her mom, like, her mom is yeah, great. People think, oh, she was just noticed one day and boom, she's a singer. No. Do you know how many talent shows that girl did? Like millions or hundreds and how, how many she got rejected from? How many, you know, this and that. Wasn't she on yeah. uh, what that? Mickey is, Mouse Club. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, she's from Pittsburgh. That's why I chose her. But <laughs> did you know that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So my, me and my sorry. mom had dinner with her at Mad Max. She used to do a show for me. No. Because <laughs> yeah, everybody else had her. <laughs> she did. That's funny. But but what I'm trying to tell you, folks, anything in life is, any time you get rich or success, none of that's never achieved without hard work. Even if you're a lottery winner. You still played a whole bunch of tickets before you won that lottery. Oh yeah! Like most lottery winners, that's like their life. That's all they do is play lottery. I mean, like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Obviously, they woke up one day and they were like, "Oh, we're on TV now." But I mean, it doesn't happen like that. No, the the, parents dragged their asses in there yeah. and got up the job. Well, they no, they worked all their well, lives. To do they were only about four it. until <laughs> they got noticed, though. Yeah. They were on that All My Children or. Family house or something. But the uh, thing is, they, they did work. What's that, guys? Full house. Full, full house. Full house. We got a full house up in here. We're mini brat number one and two. <laughs> Get this. We got our fan. Me and Brandon got our fan by just calling in. Black lady coming in. <laughs> I have a black I'm notorious for other reasons that I can't see. Black in this cracker, huh? BLC. Oh, do tell. Do tell. But in this cracker, I'm a chocolate cracker. I'm gonna write that uh, down. Or, you have a BLCO story. black lady coming out. <laughs> I'm a BLCO, honey. I'm <laughs> I a like black that. lady coming out. <laughs> coming out of my skin. Like maybe I'm related to mahogany. <laughs> oh yeah. I am. Uh, I am, I love mahogany. Isn't her show good? She has a really good show. Well, she I already is a lady, so she's, she's a BMCO, awesome. black man coming out. Right. Have you ever seen her show? Yeah, I like it. It is. Yeah, she's a. Uh, I love her. I actually shy. watch her show myself. Do you all watch her show? I know you all do. Like I have a choice. Yeah, that's true. He's our moderator. He's our moderator for life. I just watch it seven times a day. What? I only get to watch it seven times a day. Oh, hey! I wanted to announce we hit over four million. Woo! Let me do, let me double oh, check. That's a lucky number. number. So, uh, welcome, Justin TV viewers. That's where we got a four million at, and uh, on that, and then also welcome Roku viewers. That's where we got another four million, and then uh, uh, welcome MondoClub.com, who carries both of our stations. Wow, animal television, <laughs> gay life television. There four is million, eighty-four thousand three hundred and sixty-five right now. And how many are watching at this very moment? Hang on, it has to like back up. 35. 35. Yeah. So for our... But it doesn't count. It's me and Robert. Should it be a gay commercial or a straight commercial? A gay commercial. Yeah, what's up with okay. people? I don't want to be talking in the chat. What's up with that? Usually, well, the weird part is our numbers are usually bigger on the repeat. Yeah, that's like that with on. anybody. As this a matter of fact, I was just uh, the Twit Network that we were just talking about earlier. If you watch the latest Twit show this week in tech, which we I fucking love you, Leo Laporte. Uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, our Robert Christian right there got to interview Leo Laporte, which is you know not easy to do. So he got an interview with him and a lengthy interview too. So if you want to watch that, you can hop on over to Robert Christian. Dot com? I don't know. What is it? RobertChristianShow.com. RobertChristianShow.com. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, you can see that's it there a website. In the reruns. But 
Speaking of Robert Christian, he's going to be coming to our network. We're going to show his shows on our broadcast. But also, we're go I'm going to put him in our on-demand section of Roku. So um, you Roku people, you'll be able to see him on demand. And uh, um, I forget what else I was going to say about that. Oh, also you Roku you viewers, there's also Gay Life Television Channel 2. The porn site. <laughs> hey, I just put a whole bunch of new movies on there today. Well, oh, I want to see movies. it. I want to see it. Is it on? Because I didn't check it after I changed the movies. <laughs> oh, well, you wouldn't know because we're on Channel 3 or we're on Channel 2 right now as well. Never mind. Um, uh, it, David, by the way, we also did a, a nice Everybody's long there. interview with uh, uh, Westboro Baptist Church. Remember them? You, you should be called Dave. <laughs> <laughs> hell nowadays. <laughs> Well, you know, I did. I had them on actually over an hour, and I was told that the, I might last five minutes with them. My I thought first that was, name was Palacio. That's the first YouTube name. Hey, uh, Christian. Hey, Dr. G. Speak. Dr. G? Dr. G. So, what kind of sex do you like? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know he's a top. So. Um, oh, that's right. We are kind of discussed that. So, he's a top, he's a pitcher. Well, you talked about putting a sling in the office. Do you like um? Do you like it rough? Rough, sticky, and nasty. Oh, ew! <laughs> uh oh, only way to do it. So let me see. Do you like spit or lube? <laughs> That's a good question, honey. Oh Thanks. my! Well, spit doesn't scared. last very long. Trust me. You're what? You're lucky you'll get spit. <laughs> what do you say? It doesn't last that long. Yeah, it doesn't last that long. Spit? Oh no! Uh uh no. Oh, but you can ride. You know, save save a save a horse, ride a cowboy. You know. Hey, I'm from Texas too. I just live in Seattle. Oh, I like I, I don't like that lube stuff, honey. I, I, I that's like all stickiness, ickiness to me. You prefer spit? I do. <laughs> if I'm gonna get somebody to do it to me, I like them to spit it on up. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> well, or if they do use lube, right? It just has to be like a very little amount. I love it. I like well, I have lube up condoms and then shove it in. Wet, Astroglide, any of those things work way better than KY. Sorry, KY, but it does. Because some people really grease it up, you know what I mean, where it looks like it's wet. Yeah. It's a big old wet, <laughs> sloshy, yeah. What's that? Well, I have to when this goes in. What in the world is that? So, like, some oh, people, God. yeah, like, do you do it? When you masturbate, you don't, do you use lube or not? When I masturbate? Uh -huh. No, awesome. not at all. You just said, me either. I'm like, Here you go. Oh. I just do it, like, hands. Just hands, just dry hands, dry hands. Because I mean, I have. So you like a good dry jack? I think if I was like, if I was, if I was uncut, then I would use lube. No, if I was uncut, you don't need. If if you're uncut, you don't need lube or anything because like it's built in. Honey, I'm uncut. I don't need it. <laughs> right? Isn't it like built your whole jack, honey? You got a flashlight built in if you're uncut. But because ah. it's like the sheet that. that moves. Isn't it like having your own flashlight built in? <laughs> <laughs> like a real loose one. <laughs> What's that? Hold that thing up again. That looks like a crowbar. That looks like a prostate massager. Is that a butt? Is that a butt? In what is that? What is this? Sound speed. Oh, what? That's a fuck. That's a sounder. Yeah. For a penis. Yeah. Does it? Your penis. Yeah. That is. I'll put that. That thing looked like a goddamn crowbar. <laughs> that cannot possibly go in a penis, was. honey. Yeah. Now, oh, I can understand that, but that big giant one you held up. It's a BP surgery kit. Oh my. <laughs> Look how many he has. Does it have a light on the end of it, like a finger? ET phone home? Can you hold that big giant one up? Put this one in. Exactly. Look this how big gym. that thing is. That is a that is bigger than a size G crochet hook. What are those? No, that's bigger than size J. This what one's been out there. They no, they put it in their penis. That's called a sounding oh. thing, and they they hold it up and like <gasps> drop it in like a like a into the hole hot poker or something. Into yeah, I'm working yes, on it. They hold it up like the other this. Section, Freddy. Can you demonstrate to us how you do that? Not on your own thing, but like use a dildo and just kind of sh simulate what a lot of people don't know what sounding is. Section of uh, Bear City. <laughs> I need that little vase. Basically, here let me use a water bottle. You yeah. take it, and you, you slowly, 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 and then I'll suck it right in. 
Oh, it sucks it in. What's the curve? What's the hook on? What's the? Why is it angled on that one end? On both ends? Oh well, no, it's two different sizes. Oh my god. That's like a catheter. Now that's not a chlamydia remover, is it? Or is that an actual? No, those have spoons. Those have oh, those spoons have up here. Spoons. It sucks it right in. It sucks. Yeah, it does. I've seen a guy do it before. It sucks. Like they put it in halfway, then all of a sudden it goes like sucks it wow. in. I was shocked when I did it. <laughs> but and then they say that that it, this is what I've been told that it feels like you have to go pee, and that's like a try. That's well, like it, a good feeling. You got to remember, you, it hits two points. It hits your prostate and it hits your bladder. So and then when you pull it out, it feels like you just went pee or something. Like you get that relief or something, right? So isn't it getting off on pee relief, really, in, in actuality? That's really interesting. So like if you have to go pee and then you finally do go pee, yeah, but it get off too. They're not exactly the light. Okay, and um, well, anyways, the guy I saw just shoved it in. He's he wasn't no slowness about it, honey. Matter of fact, he just like he went like this and dropped it in like it was a, like I said, a hot poker or something. I was more shocked that it didn't hurt. You were more. Did you just say you were more shocked that it didn't hurt? Yeah, I thought it was gonna hurt like a bastard. So, oh, so then you tried it, and then all were you into it after you tried it the first time? Yeah, it was okay. Like, was it like a drug? You get it instantly addictive. You know. <laughs> so would you sound? I I would try it. Once. You would try it with the smallest one, yeah. Really? I don't think I'd be putting anything up my. Is that like uh, the beginner kit or something? Yeah. What? Is that like the beginner kit, the small one? I don't well, think I, I wouldn't even do it with a um, straw or something. Sixteen yeah. different sizes in there. Okay, so what is the big payoff when it comes out? Or when it's in there, like what's what's the mother load, so to speak? <laughs> Is that what it's it does? Just, it makes it, mother load. <laughs> so many it basically helps you come. It makes you feel like you came. Oh. No, it helps you make. make oh, you it come. helps you. Oh. Um, would it work on somebody that's impotent? Yeah. Would it Usually, help you start off and you put it in while it's off, and then you. Get it hard. Well, do you think would it make somebody who can't get it up have an orgasm? People who are impotent can get it up anyway. Because doesn't the orgasm um, doesn't the orgasm stimulation to get to an orgasm happen in the in the top of your dick? I think it does. So, like, is it a diff? I wonder if it's like a different type of orgasm. I think it all begins in your balls, though. Well, I think that's where the stuff is stored. That's but it also stored it works on your prostate too. <laughs> but the stimulation actually... to lead up to a release is in the head of your penis, where the that tissue is at to cause, you know, all that. <laughs> yeah. Blow and go. <laughs> Somebody getting a blowjob with one in. Okay, he has to go Tinkle. pleasure himself. <laughs> Tinkle, my pink. And then when you come back, we'll go ahead and like wrap it up and be safe. <laughs> Did you know that an orgasm actually starts in the base of your spinal column? What? It's nerves right there. Mm -hmm. That's like when you have those real good ones and you feel through your body. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think you got a hard on when you get a massage? <laughs> I thought it was just because I was a horny bastard. Do you all like oh, poppers? <laughs> Do you know what poppers are? Yeah. <laughs> These are, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. So what do you think of poppers? I'm not a huge fan. They're great yeah, if you're trying yeah. to take a huge dick, but that's about it. All right. And what do you think of them, uh, you other guys? Robert. Hey, that'd be Dr. G. Do you? Um, I have no idea. I have not actually done them in a long time. You use them all the time. No, I said I haven't done them in a long time. Oh, what are you... they called now? They were paint, paint thinner, nail polish remover, video head cleaner, popper. Yeah. They get names changed every time you turn around. Well, I they do no that idea. to get them through customs, so to speak, so they could sell them. They have to call them that stuff. They can't call them poppers. Just them by the case on Amazon. Cause what it's supposed to be is amyl nitrate. Like, have you ever had straight up amyl nitrate? 
I don't think they, they, none of the um, stuff is. Oh uh, well, I've seen. I've anymore. actually have smelled straight uh, ammo nitrate like for people who got heart problems. And uh, it's like pure yeah, poppers, and it's poppers I've without the felt. headache, like totally without the headache. It's weird, but yeah, they gave me that when I, after I when I went to the emergency room. But I think the big one nowadays is called Amsterdam. Do you ever use poppers? Uh, when I was in England, yeah, yeah, I used to use them to dance. Oh like, really? When they first came out, or I don't know, when I was younger, your age. That's what we used. We used to know on the dance floor. I didn't even know that you use them for sex. I didn't even realize that <laughs> until I kind of got to kind of recently. I had no idea people use them for sex. I yeah, they were just like. Well, I know a lot of guys when they get fisted, they use it like it's going out of style. Like, okay. Shit, no kidding. But do you know what it's doing in your brain? Like your brain. The reason why you feel that way is because you think that you're drowning. Like your brain thinks that it's drowning. So you that's what you feel like. Not getting any oxygen. So did you know that if you're drowning, it's, it'll feel like a popper hit? Wow. Isn't that I'm weird? If you're drowning, you'll be... I want to go through that again. So imagine like, I don't know if you've ever done poppers so much where you almost want to faint. Like that's what it would feel like when you're dying from drowning. You would have like a big giant popper thing. And wow. you would faint. But it causes you probably have a raging heart on. <laughs> 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 but you would, I have the so weirdest that's what phone. Like. That's Seriously. Really I think. So, oh, we've never had a weird boner discussion, have we? No, we haven't. Yeah, we're shameful. Yeah. Hey, that'd be That's a good one talk show. First time you ever had a boner starting down the line. <laughs> high school. Junior high. Uh, I wish you could right. hey, uh, Let's see. What time is it? Because uh, my number one <laughs> over there can't stay out all night. He's young. What time is it? <laughs> Uh, When's your next bus come? <laughs> well, we're going to let you go around 11.15. So, but okay, well, did we go an hour at least? Oh, yeah. yeah. We started at 9.30. You know, time flies when I do the show. Hey, everybody, first I want to thank everybody that watches the show. This is our number one show. And we get millions and millions of viewers, honey. And this is our number one show. That's it, this is the most uh, downloaded show, or in the most um, it's the most on demand show. It's actually okay. number one. And the thing is, and guess what number two is? The same show. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, we have like the first top three spots, and it goes back like because people watch our past videos, and our uh, dirty talk show is like the first three notches. Oh wow! And then it goes to your show, and then it goes to drag uh -huh. talk. But yeah, honey. It helps having half naked men on your show. <laughs> I think that's a big part of it. I mean, the the feedback I get, a lot of people like you guys, <clears throat> and they like that you know they like that we uh talk dirty, honey. I'm just saying what's on my mind. Well, they could be naked if they want to be naked. See, the sex talk show. I mean, I like to, I like to uh, casually talk about shocking subjects. I think that's the fun of it. Like you casually talk about poop. Uh, or you casually talk about what were we talking about? Uh, oh, putting your head up somebody and exploding in their butt. Uh, yeah. We talk about that kind of thing here on Dirty Talk. And yet we didn't mention shit this entire episode. No way we did. Well, we did, <laughs> no, but we, we did. did mention an area that shit comes out of. Shit, 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 shit. We did like mention becoming shit or something, didn't we? We did. Yeah. <laughs> no, we did. When he drew that condom thing. I said it looked like a piece of shit. Yeah, that's oh, true. Yeah. That's true. Well, we, we didn't have a picture of a mushroom for us. Usually we time it, like how long. And we even got it. peanut butter in. It looked like, you know, a tampon without the strings, actually. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, hey, uh, Wolf Stenbar, thanks for watching. If you tuned in, what's he, what's he got there? What's he holding up there? This mic smells. Geography Club. What's that? Yeah. It's a, but it's this school kids in school that are trying to start a gay club and to, to hide it they called it the, the geometry club oh, look how cute he looks it's, since he shaved his beard the um, trailer's out for it too oh. it just got picked up for dis distribution hey Christian or Dr. G you might want to think about one of the requirements that we do 
have for our guests, our panelists, is that they're supposed to be uh, topless. Trust me, you would not want to see my saggy titties. Honey, I love old men. Please, I'll probably see it. And Baby titties, here. here, here. <laughs> Hey, I, ha I have an excuse. I have an excuse. This chair is leather, and if I did, it, I would stick to it bad. Ooh, Put a towel behind it. Then you can clean up afterward. <laughs> Ooh, that is, that's why I say I hate when people put their mouths on those things. That's disgusting. Um. Okay, well. So, thank you, Black Brandon. <laughs> Thank you, Tomahawk Dave and Dr. G, for joining us. We hope you join us next time. And you do want, hey, Dr. G, if you don't want to, uh, you, you got to have your shirt off. You ain't got to show your whole thing. You just show your shoulders up. But you do have to be topless on the show, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, why we'll see him. that's why people, that's why we're the number one, two, and three show, honey. I'd love to put it on a tank top. I know how to get ratings. This is so <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, this guy is so drunk. We got to get him in bed. Oh no, I'm not drunk. Together. <laughs> I just, I'm, I mean, everybody that's I'm drunk prepared. always says the they're not drunk. What are you I'm drinking not, out of? That's the first thing a drunk person says. I'm not oh, drunk. Okay. But, <laughs> he looks at me like lovingly. He goes, "I'm hungry." Hi, <laughs> I'm your producer, <laughs> not your lover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry for some new. I'm hungry for a <laughs> tube steak. Oh my god. Well, that pizza place is probably open. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, everybody. Uh, go ahead and hang up, guys. And we love you, and we'll see you next week. Good night. And we didn't crash. Yay. Love Let's you. Bye. Far. Good night, guys. Uh, good night. And thank you, everybody, for joining us here on Party Line Show. We want to thank all of our panelists, of course, and Davio Falabio for joining us, and Brian Rice for his excellent production skills. And I want to thank you, the viewer, for uh, watching us and laughing your ass off, honey. And I'll see you on the next Dirty Talk Show.